I don't know. Like nothing. Would you finally kill your boss and chop him into little pieces? No. I bought this at an auction. You know, one of those used store places. People don't pay their bills, they auction off their stuff. I paid eight bucks. I could have got it for five, but this guy was like bidding against me. Oh, you overpaid, dude. That looks like it could be worth some dough, right? That's nickel plated. That's all crapola. Well, I am moving out of this above ground sewer with cable. Landlord, give you the boot. Socks. A Mork and Mindy lunchbox. Ka ching! Are you choking or having trouble forming words? Let's take this real slow. Try putting your lips together. Can you do that? Uh, I'll bet you can. Uh, how did you get in here? Does it matter? Mm, no. Today is your lucky day. Do you know why? Uh, I am here to give you whatever you want, wherever you want. However you want it, all you have to do is wish for it. You're a genie. And you get one wish. You could use it to fix that stutter. Isn't it supposed to be three wishes? You've been watching too much Nick at night. It's only one wish, but it can be for anything you want. Anything? Anything. Um. Wait. I want her. like my favorite supermodel. Look, I've got all your posters. And I also have your swimsuit edition, a videotape of the beer commercial, and you know those cardboard cutouts that you stand next to and take your pictures? <laughs> ah! Come here! Ah! for four women. I'll bet. You know what I like about you? Yeah, I think I have a pretty good idea. All right. Smart ass. What? Well, you see, most guys take off their clothes, make love, and then immediately rush and put them back on. I won't do that. <laughs> when I take my clothes off, they're staying off. I was going to say that you make me look forward to waking up in the morning. Mm, until I ruined everything as usual. Not everything. You know what I like about you? What? You. And you're not even gonna follow that up with something sarcastic? I'm shocked, too. Hmm. 
Okay, don't freak out, but I have something for you. What? Yeah, see, I bet you I can guess what this is without opening it. <laughs> hey. It's a DVD player, oh, am I come right? On, come on. Oh. oh. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah. She valuable? <laughs> Six months pay, but it's not more important than that. Did you get me the Porsche? Because you see, I've been dropping hints and everything. I wasn't sure if you were picking up on them. That's. It's a key to my apartment. Wow. <laughs> I'm. I'm not asking you to move in. I'm just asking you to make the little extra commitment that exchanging keys involves. So you want a key to my apartment? I, I don't need a key to your apartment. I know that moving too fast scares you, but I don't want to lose you. After Tom cheated on me, I thought that I'd never be able to trust another guy again. But you gave me a reason to try. So, <laughs> say something sarcastic, or say something real, just say something. I enjoy being with you. Wow. Oh. Damn! I don't know what's wrong with this damn thing. It comes on automatically when I turn on a burner, but then it makes that horrible noise. Uh, your filter's clogged. You need a new one. Oh, great. Great. Another chore. I've just started getting ready for the new gallery exhibit, and I haven't even had time to talk to... <sighs> O'Malley. When? All right, I'm on my way. Saved by the bell. Forget what you learned from Robin Williams in Aladdin. What we're dealing with here is not funny, does not improv weird voices, and did not star in Patch Adams. Which is good news if you really think about it. So we've got a genie on our hands. To be mundane, yes. I thought I was to the point. Actually, it was mundane. In Arabic mythology, a jinn is a spirit or a demon lower than an angel. And like the myth, they emerge from containers to grant wishes. Their actions are restricted to only granting wishes. They have no free will. Unlike the myth, they lack special powers, other than being made up of gaseous substances. So in order to carry out these wishes, they have to physically do them. That's why when this guy wished for a supermodel... The djinn had to knock her out and kidnap her herself. Exactly. Well, you can't blame the guy for the wish. Did you see the layout Alana did last year? Focus, O'Malley. I can't get much more focus, sir. Okay, like I was saying, she's uh, made of gases, but she can change the adhesive forces of her molecules to switch between solid and gaseous states. However, gins are solid most of the time when they're inside containers because they can only remain vaporous for approximately 18 seconds. Why only 18 seconds? Uh, because the cohesive forces of the gases aren't strong enough to stay together any longer than that. And they begin to diffuse through the air. Good question. The reason why they don't diffuse inside containers is because they coat the inside with their gases to prevent air from seeping in. That's why they can get in, but they can't get out. Well. Who's this suit? Never seen him before. Because they're gases, they can fit into any size container, which they choose very carefully, otherwise they get stuck. Here's a simulation. And they don't want to be stuck as wish-granting machines. Why are they so determined to grant wishes if they just have to bottle themselves up again when they're done? Well, we, we don't know. We don't know how to kill it? Uh, chins can't be killed. They can only be bottled. We dug this out of the vault. It's full on. Includes every known gin of the last century. All but one have been accounted for. Guess you have to be pretty hot to be a genie. Meet Natalie. Well, it's not a real name, but for the last century, she's been using it as an alias. Take a good look at that picture, people. I want her bottled. You have any kind of ammo that can work on this thing? Well, since gins are approximately 97% radon, 86 on the periodic table, atomically weighing in at 220. 
Um, I formulated an ammo that should work like a tranquilizer dart. Hit her with it when she's solid, and uh, you should have enough time to bag her. These bags are mylar lined and are impermeable. Silicone foam spray will lock the zipper. It's low tech. But if you trap Natalie, she will not escape. Do we have any leads on where she might be? When Natalie is in gaseous form, she leaves trace amounts of her vapors on everything that she comes in contact with. Since radon is a radioactive gas, it can easily be detected with a Geiger counter. We found uh, traces on a Mork and Mindy lunchbox, but th uh, that's it. <clears throat> uh, however, the landlord said he saw one of the neighbors going into the apartment after the guy was arrested. His name is Clay Jensen. He was evicted from his apartment yesterday. We have an APB out on him. We'll be ready to move as soon as we have a positive ID. In the meantime, see if Carl can find any link contacts that can shed light on Natalie's whereabouts. Who's the clipboard? I don't know, and I don't like it. So, Marty. So, Jonathan. Oh, um, you know that Bell and Sebastian concert that sold out on Friday? Uh-huh. Yeah. Anyway, I got two tickets. So, you want to go? Or? Really? Yeah. I, I would love to go. Really? But Friday, um, I told my sister I'd go to Kenny G with her. Kenny, Kenny G. Yeah, I know, I know. It was, it was a weak moment. I promised her. I'm sorry. Yeah. Tickets no. are still available, so. I can do it. So, uh, what? <laughs> thanks for asking. No, I will not hold. I will not hold. I absolutely, positively, unequivocally will not hold. Hello? She put me on hold. What did I say? I said no hold! No hold! What did you do? You put me on hold! Is everything okay? What's the matter? Did you get a new mirror? It's not that my mom put me on hold. It's not that somebody stole the airbag out of my Beamer. And it's not that it's almost my birthday and nobody seems to remember or even give a crap. Well, good, because we were deeply concerned about all that. We need some information on a gin named Natalie. Yeah, if you find something, give us a call. Thanks. Thank you for the happy birthday, Carl. For the presents. For the great party nobody's throwing me. All I could do was stare at the key. And I knew she needed me to say something. All I came up with was, wow. What does that mean? You should break up with her. What? Well, it just means that you're not ready for a relationship. You should get out. A, I want a relationship with Zoe, and B, I can't believe you're the one saying that. You're pro-relationship. Well, changed my mind. Why? Every time I let my guard down, I get burned. I'm done. I would say, wow, but I already used that one today. I'm amazed. Yeah, well, just take a look at my track record, and you won't be. Do you realize this is the first time I've ever heard you saying you want a relationship with a woman? I'm shocked. Me too. Why is that? Because your relationships with women have been frozen the level of a 12-year-old. You know, like when you're in fifth grade and you like a girl, but you don't want to tell her you like her, so you just give her a shove or something. I meant, why am I so interested in Zoe, not why are you in shock? Oh. Sorry. So what's my next move? What would you want me to do? You know, if you weren't in your current anti-relationship state of mind. Make a show of commitment. Something concrete. And I'm not talking about calling MCI and adding her to your friends and family plan. Okay, since you just disqualified my first idea, show a commitment like what? Get her jewelry. Jewelry? Yeah. And nothing she needs a new piercing for. Benson. Yeah, I got it. Carl's got something. You asked for it, you got it. This is your contact? A hole in the ground? Will. <clears throat> Will! Carl! Yeah, I need some help. What kind of information do you have on a gin that goes by the name of Natalie? You know my policy. Come on, Will, I'm a friend. I got lots of friends, Carl. Show me some money. <clears throat> Where'd you get that? Can a guy feel comfortable with himself enough to carry a purse? Lord. Information costs money. Nice. 
All right, Natalie's a gin, and gin's Grant wishes. That's it? That's all you get for a penny. Well, that's more like it. Okay, she's evil. I mean, really evil. And she hates humans. She'll pretend to be nice to her masters or say whatever it takes to get them to make a wish, because that's all she cares about. But no one's heard from her in at least 15 years when she was about three wishes away. Three wishes away from what? Oh, a sexy voice. Carl, throw her down here. You know, it's been a while for old Willie. How much concrete do you think it would take to fill this thing in? Three wishes away from 3,000. And then what happens? Well, she won't need to live in bottles or grant other people's wishes anymore. She'll have free will, every genie's dream. She'll be able to do whatever she wants, whenever she wants, and there'll be no way to trap her or stop her. She'll just torture and kill people for fun. <laughs> See you later. Hey, uh, Carl, Carl, lift the bucket. I got something for you. <sighs> You're gonna be impressed. Happy birthday. It's a rock. What am I supposed to get you? I live in a well. But it's still a rock. All right, let's go before I'm overcome by emotion. Ow! At least he got me something. Here's some dirt to go with your rock. Happy birthday. Can we move on now? Look, we got to find this link, and we got to bottle her before she grants her 3,000th wish. She's only got two left. You're right. What kind of jewelry should I get, Zoe? You know, nothing too expensive and not diamonds. How about a necklace? Gold or silver. Silver? I like silver. A heart-shaped necklace? Oh, that's good. While you're shopping, maybe you could pick me up a little something for my birthday. Maybe just a ride back to the precinct? Friend of Doug's? You know, I like that tune you were just playing. Yeah? Yeah, it had a really nice groove to it. Kinda made me tingle. Tingling's good. Uh, what's your story? Well, the beginning varies, but it always ends with, he lived happily ever after. Why is that? Because anything you want, whatever you tell me to do, I'll do it. Right, like a genie, like in a movie. That's right. OK. This isn't my wish. This is like a hypocritical question. What if I were to wish for a million dollars? I would get it for you. And I want you to be naked when you deliver. They both sound really good to me. Me too. But you have to pick one. Okay, don't take this personally. I'm gonna wish for the cash, because that'll give me a lot of naked women. You follow my thinking? <laughs> oh. Hey! Hey! Hey, French. You know what I love about this job? I've got the power of the entire West Coast computer operations at my fingertips, and I'm using it to win the Fantasy Football League. Yes, just got Warner for Favre. I'm not gonna waste your time reiterating the importance of catching Natalie before she grants her next wish, which will be her 3,000th. We are running very short on time. We need to think outside of the box. What are we not doing? What are we not considering? I want proposals on my desk in an hour. Dismissed. Jonathan, quick question. Access denied. And not about the computer system you're trying to hack into. Guy with the clipboard, any idea who he is? I just found out. Can you 
you guys keep a secret? Well, we're so secretive, we can't even answer that. Okay. Mr. Clipboard is an SU2 efficiency expert. Captain Page brought him in to make sure everyone's operating at peak efficiency. Benson, I'm Ali. Chicago PD just arrested Clay Jensen, trying to buy a guitar using the money Natalie stole. They're bringing him in. We're on it. Hold on, I just have to do one more thing. Hey, you get it? How is it that it's my birthday and I'm going out shopping for you? What I'm looking for is a yes or no answer to my question. You actually use the money I gave you, right? Because if you find out the jewelry's hot, you're gonna do all kinds of bad things to me. Blah, blah, blah. You're certainly taking away all the fun of my threats. And my horoscope said nothing good was gonna happen today. Okay, come on. Hey. Let me see it. It's bad luck, isn't it? Well, it's bad luck if you don't show it to me. <gasps> oh, that's nice. You don't think it's too, uh, what's the word? You got me. I just don't want her to get the wrong idea. Which is? I don't know, this whole thing's confusing. Why can't I just tell her I like her and leave it at that? Would you relax? It's perfect. So how are you planning on giving it to her? I thought I'd hand it to her. Oh, it's a really good plan. That was sarcastic, wasn't it? Yeah. I should probably give her a card with something thoughtful written on it. Probably. Yeah. Carl, I need you to engrave this for me. Already done. What kind of idiot buys a locket without getting it engraved? Song, dance, and laughter too. They mean nothing without you. That's good. You came up with that? Gnomes need love, too. <sighs> like I say, I don't know what you're talking about, but somehow I got my hands on a bunch of bogus Benjamins and I tried to spend them. Now the cops are making a federal case out of it. You don't seem too worried about being in jail. Oh, well, Keith Richards was in jail. Uh, so was Sid Vicious uh, and the Godfather of Soul. Doing time equals street cred. Yeah, that's a real resume builder. Yeah, well, that's rock and roll, babe. Babe? You think being a murderer gives you street cred? Now, who said anything about murder? I did. When? Two seconds ago. Didn't they tell you? Tell me what? Along with possession of stolen goods, you're being arraigned on two counts of murder. Hey, no, 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 no. I'm an up-and-coming, soon-to-be-discovered singer-songwriter. I'm not a murderer. Well, maybe you ought to start singing about how you got that money. OK, this chick shows up in my van she tells me she's a genie and she'll do anything I want. Now, I think she's a whack job or a groupie into my tunes, but I play along because I got nothing better to do and I think I might score some tookie. So I, I wish for a naked million bucks and after she shows up with the cash, she just disappears. That's it, straight up. How'd she disappear? I don't know. I had all the doors and windows closed in the van. She was hot. I didn't ask any questions. Okay, she had to get into another container. Captain Page said forensics only found radon on the cigarette case. Nowhere else. Not the doors, windows, nothing. Something's not adding up. Baby! All right, after a brief discussion, we've come to the conclusion that you're a lying scumbag. Not to mention a horrible singer. Dude, I'm being straight with you. All right, if you don't, if you don't believe me, you, you can check with my home slice. You're who? Doug. He was in the van with me. Well, he was passed out in the back, but uh, I'm pretty sure that he heard her when she came back with the cash. Well, where is he now? Uh, he's probably at work. I drove him to his truck. I threw him in the cab. You're a true friend. Hey, no, no, I, I covered him with a jacket. I left him a can of Ringles, too, in case he got hungry. Ringles? Yeah, you know, the chips that comes in a tube. The taste that will satisfy a woman or a man. It's the chips that comes in a can. Oh, Ringles! We get it.
snack that'll satisfy any woman or man. They're the potato chips that come in a can. I hate them. Of course you did. Six down! <laughs> When you open this, a woman suddenly appeared. Where is she? Look, uh, the only woman who suddenly appears when I open a can of chips would be my mother-in-law. <laughs> can of chips. We called in a pursuit over a can of chips. Look, it was a lead. It's a snack. It's not a lead. There's no Natalie here, boys. Natalie? Yeah. You know her? Yeah, the hitchhiker. Yeah, I got back to my cab after my last delivery and she was there, so, you know, I gave her a lift. Is this her? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, she was really into me. <laughs> yeah, she loves men in uniform. What did you wish for? She asked you if you can have one wish, what would it be or something like that, right? Just a lot of things. She's really into me, you know? <laughs> All right, we don't have a lot of time, so why don't you just tell me what you wished for? I wish that I could have my brother Dale's job. He runs the family brewery. Oh, I cut the brother's voicemail. Can you drive any faster? Not without lifting off the ground. Look, the only reason he works here is because he's my brother. I bust my buns 24-7 for this company, and I expect the same from him. If he can't handle that, he's gonna find his ass on the end of my foot. She reappears. Where is she? What is that tube leak? The loading dock. Case. You sure this thing's working? Well, I tested in the lab a couple hours ago. Look, this baby's specifically set to detect even the most minute amount of radon, so if she's in one of these bottles, we'll know. Hey, doesn't it feel like we're in the prohibition and we're busting up a secret distillery? Why? Well, you know, because there's like cops breaking bottles and uh, people who are, I guess not. She might have escaped before we could seal up the loading dock. We have to cover our bases. Do you have any idea how long it takes to brew a double bock? I might if I knew what a double bock was. I'm gonna call a judge friend of mine, have you both put in jail, and when you get out, the next batch might be ready. Still drawing a blank. Hey, this is it. This is the last bottle. No radon, nothing. So, you destroyed my entire stock for nothing. <laughs> I guess. Zoe. You were supposed to be here an hour and a half ago. I know, I'm in the middle of an investigation. You should have called. You're right. Nick, I'm gonna yeah. wash this beer off my hands. Be right back. Who is that? That's my partner, Kate. <laughs> I went through this once before with Tom. I can't do it again. It's not like that. We're working. Come on. Let me make this up to you. I'm not in the mood for company right now. I'll call you later. Whatever. Silly problems. Oh, I'm running late and I didn't call her. I just, I'm not used to thinking about that. Well, welcome to the world of relationships. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah, but you know what? Every relationship requires a certain amount of effort, but if you're with the right person, it's worth it. 
You see that? You're already backing away from your anti-relationship no, stance. No, 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 no. You just didn't ask me if I thought the odds of actually meeting the right person were a billion to one. And if there was any reason to even leave the house. <laughs> and I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> so what do I do now? Zoe, this is Nick. I came by this morning, but I guess you were out. I left something for you. starts vaporizing, our bullets pass right through her. For special ammunition work, we have to hit her when she's not expecting it. And that's a chance we just can't rely on, so we worked through the night modifying a link capturing device that we constructed a few years ago. I call it the Titan. The Titan? Well, I wanted to call it the Terminator, but the name's already taken. It's copyright infringement. OK. <clears throat> It's a self-contained, portable unit capable of evacuating vapors at an extremely high rate. The vapors are captured in these fully enclosed negative pressure suction hoses. Then it travels to the cyclone separator, where it's pushed along by reverse pulses of high pressure air. From there, the vapors are ejected into this impenetrable collection bag. So you made a vacuum cleaner. It's much more elaborate than that. Jonathan, would you bring Benson and O'Malley up to speed on the vacuum cleaner? I'm just doing it now, sir. Good. Now, we've detained Mr. Prowski at the brewery. We're using him as bait. When she gets back, you'll be waiting there with Jonathan's vacuum cleaner. The Titan. And you can capture her. How do we know she's going to come back? Well, we don't. Since it's her 3,000th wish, we're in uncharted territory. O'Malley. I got the locket. It's beautiful. You got the locket. It's beautiful. Yeah, I'm wearing it right now. You're wearing it right now. I love it. You love it. And the inscription. I didn't know you were so poetic. No, no, no. That should go over there. And be careful, it's very valuable. <sighs> you wouldn't believe how much work I still have to do before the exhibit opens. Anyway, listen. We close at 6. I'll pick up some food on my way home. Why don't you meet me at my place at 7? Sharp. Sharp. So? Oh, she's just getting ready for the big exhibit at the gallery. What else? Oh, she's just telling the workers where to load the art. What else? Hmm. That's pretty much it. What else? She wants me over for dinner at 7. Ah! Why can't I make it work for you and not for me? Oh, maybe we have different expectations. How so? Because I have none. Yeah, well, I've tried everything to get into the ticketing computer. But I can't get past the firewall. Do you have any ideas? It's not important why I need to get in. I just got to get in. OK. OK, I'm listening. All right, I'll try it now. It worked. It worked! OK, listen, I got to go. I got to get to it. OK, thanks. Bye. That should go over there against that wall. Yes, ma'am. Hey, hi, I'm sorry, but the exhibit doesn't open until 1 o'clock. You can come back then. I'm not here for the exhibit. I'm here to talk to you. About Nick. Nick O'Malley? What about him? You don't know about me, do you? <laughs> no, what? Who are you? I'm Nick's girlfriend. <laughs> is, is this some sort of a joke? I didn't know about you either until last night. Nick was working last night. Nick was with me last night. I was there when you called. Why are you telling me this? Because I don't think the situation is fair to either one of us. Situation? Do you love him? Not at the moment. Look, I just I had to come down and see for myself. Oh my god, the locket. Nick gave me the exact same one. No, he had it inscribed. Song, dance, and laughter too. They mean nothing without you. What are you thinking? That I wish that Nick O'Malley were dead. 
I was hoping you'd say that. I always thought being stuck in a brewery would be a lot more fun than this. This is no picnic for me either. My ex-wife's lawyer was better company than you two. You're the weirdest cops I've ever met. You both should get your heads examined. You know that. We've been here six hours. I think this is a bust. Let's call on the second unit so we can get out of here. Okay, so you can go to Zoe's. Oh, that too. You want to go over the checklist? I think I can handle a simple checklist. Flowers. A dozen red roses. Wine. A nice Beaujolais. Card. A Hallmark classic that would make Scrooge weep. Candy. Candy? Chocolate. Got a piece for me? No, I don't. Get out of here. <laughs> a nice time together last night. I thought we'd do it again tonight. We'll have to be quick. I already have plans. But she's a little tied up right now. You had to get in the way of my final wish last night, didn't you, Nick? You couldn't have come in just two seconds later. I like to be early. Well, this time, I'm not leaving until I grant a wish. And you know what that wish is? I'll save you the trouble of guessing. Your loving girlfriend wished you dead. Wished me dead? Carl, you scared the hell out of me. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be out ruining O'Malley's life? I'm helping him. You think getting O'Malley into a relationship is helping him? <laughs> That's funny. People change. He gets volume discounts at strip clubs. Why are you wearing all black? Black is slimming. Hey, I saw her today. Don't you try to change the subject on me. I'm serious. I saw her at the Fifth Street Gallery. Are you sure? Positive. I was over there. She was talking to the girl that works there. Zoe. the old-fashioned way. Try and not get blood on my boots. They're a bitch to clean. This is becoming an abusive relationship! <laughs> Au revoir. that woman, Nick, and why was she trying to kill you? She's a suspect in a number of murders. She told me that you were dating her at the same time as me. When you believed her. I guess I'm not as over what happened with Tom as I thought. 
You never gave me any reason not to trust you. Forget it. It's, it's water under the bridge. No. It's not fair to you. I want you to hold on to this for me while I'm gone. Jonathan, you're not going to believe this. What's that? Kenny G sold out. A couple days ago, the seats were only a third sold, so my sister didn't bother getting any in advance. And then, at the last minute, 3,000 seats sold. Can you believe that? I find it shocking, frankly. But I'm sure you've already asked someone else to go to Bell and Sebastian. Um, no. no. Really? Yeah. Why not? Oh, um... Because I couldn't think of anyone I would rather go with than you. Wow. Wait, wow, all right, or, or wow, you're a total dork and I can't believe this. Mm, wow, wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't wait to go. Yeah, me neither. Right, thank you for all your help. What? Let's for too much. Give me a call. Okay. okay. Sir, did the uh, efficiency expert have any good suggestions? Well, who told you he was an efficiency expert? Uh. No one. Well, the only one I told was Jonathan. You, oh. And the reason he was the only one I told was because he was the only one I wanted to know. That man wasn't an efficiency expert. He was a retired SU2 officer and an old friend. I don't follow. Well, Jonathan's briefings had become interminable. Now, since my small deception, they suddenly are a lot more efficient. Sir, that is very sneaky. Dismissed. Oh. Hey. Hey. How's Zoe doing? Oh, she'll be all right. She's moving back home to Connecticut. She put a bid in a small gallery. Sorry. But hey, on the bright side, seems like my advice worked. You're just not going to let me feel sorry for myself, are you? Nope. Suddenly you sound very pro-relationship. Well, maybe I gave it up a little too quickly. Yeah, maybe. Can I have your attention, please? I just wanted all of my friends to know that I've accepted the fact that the people that I work with, the people that I see every day, are doing nothing for my birthday. So thanks for nothing. I hate you all. Hey, is it time yet? <sighs> is, is my timing impeccable or what? I knew you guys wouldn't let me down. This, this was all just an act, right? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Carl. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Penelope. <laughs> That's for standing me up. Twice. <laughs> Happy birthday, pal. Happy birthday, Carl. <laughs>